what's up guys today i got an unboxing of one plus five smartphone um this is my first one plus device ever i've ever bought and uh, what really triggers me to buy this device this smartphone is because of the specification i think it's worth my attention to be honest though is it be on the higher price because this is the most expensive one plus device ever and I think is kind of competing with the top flagship in the market. This is very serious, man. So I got the device today. I should have got it two days ago, but I wasn't at home, so eventually it came today. So I just want to do the unboxing and the first impression as usual. So I'm gonna be unboxing the phone. I'm gonna rip out the plastic. Let's see if I can take it off. Okay, that's it. So I've not seen the device and then uh, just put and put it away. This cost me 450 pounds. So let's see how it does look. Whoa, take this away from there. This is the OnePlus 5. Um, I don't know if I'll be much more interested in this device as in day to day use. I still don't know, but I will see on the performance basis. Let's see how it does look on performance. If this will kick me away from using my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, I don't know, you know. So I don't know if with this I will stop using my Galaxy S8 Plus. So what is this? This is like a picture. I'm guessing it said it's taken on the OnePlus 5. Mm, this is nice. As you can see on the screen. So that's a picture. Probably it's taken on the phone. I'm gonna put that aside. So what else do we have in the box? I think no phone, nothing. It's just the charger, USB Type C cable. That's it. And the fast charging, the Dash charger. I think it's called Dash charger. So I don't need to take that. Out. I think that's everything you get in the box. So I think here yeah, you have the paper box. So I'm gonna lift the phone up a little bit. Move it aside nothing much here except from the paperwork I'm sure so let's open it up and see what it looks like yeah this quick start guide the sim ejector I think that's all so that's it nothing much nothing nothing so I'm just gonna leave this I don't want to waste my time on this so I'll leave this aside too so let's get over to the phone oh, I think it came with a plastic on front oh uh, no it's a screen protector like the chinese phone you can't remove it no can you i'm not sure oh you can actually sorry about that you can remove it the plastic but it does look a little bit thick so i was wondering if it's a screen protector that's just about it there and at the back there's another plastic which i think states that it does support nfc here okay so I'll leave that aside. So they have the USB Type C, and you have the 3.5 audio jack. At the side, you have the volume up or the volume down button. Here, you have the silent switch, something we found in iPhone on this side. And on the other side, you have the power button and the SIM tray. So I'm gonna put the phone on. It's a dual camera device. That's the great thing you get from the phone as you power on. Okay, it's a dual camera device. Okay, the phone has put up now, so I'm gonna be running a quick setup now. Okay, first thing first, the fire the device finally booted up, and as a slide down from the notification center, as you can see on the screen, I got um I got I already got an update waiting for me. Oxygen OS update. Yeah. I already got an update so I'm gonna just download it I'm not going to install while I'm doing all my test I'm not gonna install so in doing that um I don't even know where to start from because I'm so excited this device is so so beautiful to be honest it's so beautiful and I think it's worth the money so what I'm gonna do next I'm just gonna be testing some application the speed test the Antutu benchmarking and then the camera and the sound quality I will leave you on that. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna be testing the Apple to benchmark and test now. Oh, 
Alright guys, the Antutu benchmarking scores are finished as you can see. It's got 172,886. This is a crazy score. I mean, this is the craziest score I've ever seen in the, um, the smartphone devices. But you know what? Now let's say I don't judge my device, my own performance with the score. Like we've had a OnePlus cheater to get even to even get this score. You know, we had that. So all this is just for doing sake. I don't really base my own performance on that. You know, it's the phone has got 20 20,000. I don't care. I want to test it in real life to see how the phone does perform. So if you base your phone on performance, sorry, you need to start thinking otherwise because we heard that this call is not real and they cheated. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be testing the speed test of the phone to see how it does perform on Wi-Fi speed test. I'm expecting a great performance here to be honest. Then after this, I'm going to be checking the, the specification in details, you know, check the hardware in details Then I'm going to test the sound quality, test the camera. Then I call it a wow. It's not even as fast as I thought it should. Okay, maybe yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never say never. So that's it. It's called 72 megabyte per second, which is very good speed on the mobile phone. You know, that's very good. So what I'm gonna be doing next? I'm gonna be doing my um. What? Oh, sorry, I didn't let you see what it does cause on the upload speed it's called 4.7 you can see on the screen 4.7 megabits per second upload speed which is not too bad i mean i'm quite impressed with the performance so far this is snapdragon 835 you know and it's very good and i'm running the 6 gig ram version not the 128 gig the 6 gig ram version 64 gig ram now the next thing i want to do is the camera i want to take a picture sample let's take one sample now um Considering the lightning here, I think it's just, I don't see anything fantastic here to be honest. You know, I haven't tried this outdoor in natural light. Now, let me match this with this and let me take them together. I'm going to share this picture on the screen anyway. So, let's see. Oh, it's a very good picture quality to be honest. Let's try to zoom into this. Yeah, as you can see, it's a very good picture quality. I do like it. I mean, I can't complain. It's one of the best cameras you're gonna be getting in smartphone devices at the moment. If I'm being honest, and that's that about the camera. So what I'm gonna be doing next is the sound quality. All I'm going to do now So I'm going to increase the sound It's just one speaker but it does sound a little bit louder than the galaxy to be honest i'm being serious Wow, that sound overshadow and overpower my Galaxy S8 Plus. I'm being serious, man. This is crazy. Now I'm feeling cheated. <laughs> I don't know. 
I just feel like I've been cheated, you know. I'll be serious. Who cares if I'm using a 5.5 inches phone, to be honest. I think this phone feels solid and the build quality is absolutely fantastic. I'll be serious, you know, I don't get paid to review phones, I just do it because it's my hobby. So you need to take my word for it. I'll be serious about this. It does the build quality you wouldn't think use it well it's not cheap anyway so let us even go don't let us even go there it's not even cheap at all so that's it guys that's pretty much it about the oneplus i do like the phone yes i do so what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna increase uh, what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna try and now uh, well the fingerprint is not working why i think i did set the fingerprint Oh, for additional security. Okay, I tried it again. I don't know, something just happened. Okay, now it's working, yeah. So I'm just gonna install the update. That's all I'm gonna do, guys. So thank you guys for watching my video. I do appreciate your time. Seriously, I do. Without you, I will not be doing this video. I do appreciate your time. So thank you guys. And I will see you when I make a new video. Bye. God bless.